I'm going to look at where the umbilical vein goes into the liver and joins the portal system. It's like a little hockey stick. Okay? If I see this, I'm too low. I want to come up on the baby because I don't want to see the umbilical cord going into the skin at this level. Because, but I am going to do a cord insertion into the fetus, and I'm also going to do a cord insertion into the placenta. Okay? My placenta. This is central. This is battle door. This is velamentous. You want the, um, the cord insertion into the placenta to be central. If it's marginal, it's called a battle door. The, the cord insertion is inserting into the edge of the placenta. It can become detached. Velamentous, more than likely, it will become detached, especially during delivery, because it's just into the membranes. The placenta doesn't, you know, a mountain doesn't just like point up out of the ground. It gradually builds up out of the ground. Same thing with the placenta. Okay, so these are all membranes along right here because here is my gestational sac. Okay, got it? Central battle door, central. Door velamentous. Velamentous. Battle door. Okay, what else? There is one exam that we can do <coughs> on our first trimester. It's called nuchal translucency. It's only done from 11 weeks, 13 weeks, six days. Nuchal translucency. It's where the back of my neck is anechoic. Not my neck, the baby's neck. I'm the baby. <laughs> okay. So here is my baby. This is a nuchal translucency. 11 weeks to 13 weeks, six days. It has to be less than three millimeters. Where did y'all see the three millimeters before? Gallbladder wall. Mm -hmm. So it's an easy measurement to remember. You measure from here to here. That requires a license to do this. We very seldom do it. They're usually sent to maternal fetal medicine. Okay, it, it, you have to, there's a, a certain license that goes with that. Okay? For a sonographer? For a sonographer. Why do we need that? Because if it's greater than three millimeters, that's a sonographic sign of a chromosomal abnormality. Something is wrong with the baby. Chromosome. Okay? So it has to be precise has to be precise. Less than three. Less than three millimeters. 
Is that called anti measurement? Huh? Is that called anti measurement? Nuchal. Nuchal translucency. It's anti or nuchal. Okay. Translucency. Okay. Yeah, if we see it, we go ahead and measure it because the doctor's going to come in after you. Even without Huh? Even with and without measurements. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. We can do it because how you apply for the license is that you have to send in three exams. They grade your exams and send you back a license. <laughs> So even if you have your OB registry, it's correct. Like additional? It's, it's an additional registry. Cool. Okay. So, but there's another one that we do. Okay. So it's done at 15 weeks. Okay. So here's my. How many weeks is the Eleven. Eleven to thirteen point six. Eleven weeks, thirteen weeks six days okay so here's my head here's my fox here's my cavum septum pellucidum you want to have the cavum septum pellucidum in your image at the back of my head I have what we call a cerebellum okay it's at this level where I can measure my nuchal fold. Nuchal fold. And it should be less than five millimeters. <coughs> what I'm doing is I'm measuring the fat behind my neck. Okay? So the second trimester, right? Yeah, but I want to go below, further down into my head, past the cerebellum. Okay, because I'm, I'm I want to look at the skin at the back of the neck. The last thing I'm going to see is my cerebellum. You might get a a little bit of cerebellum because you're cutting it like at an angle. Okay. And you're measuring this. Nuchal fold. If it's greater than five millimeters, that's also a marker for a trisomy. A chromosomal abnormality. Which week? Uh, 15 weeks. But I can't remember the other week. Does it say it in the book? I don't see it here. I don't, I don't remember when we can stop it. I don't remember reading it in here. I don't know. Yeah, I can see it. Where do you see that? 18? Yeah. <coughs> Is it the same with the license to do the nickel bolt? Six, no. Well, here it says six Any questions over what we've talked about so far? 
That is where the baby is putting too much pressure on the IVC and the aorta. Yeah, what's the measurement? There's no measurement. Just throw up. <laughs> There's no measurement. Just move your patient quickly. You're going to get thrown up on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Am I going to see my aorta and IVC? I could. I could. If the baby, depending upon the age of the baby. <laughs> The nuchal translucency is 11 weeks, 13 weeks, 6 days. About the IVC compression. How do we measure that? We don't. Oh. Okay. 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 Now, when I do my femur length, when I do my BPD, that's going to tell me the age of the baby. When I do my abdominal weight, my abdominal measurement, that's going to tell me how much my baby weighs. Okay? Now, with that chart that's in your book, we want our measurements to be in the middle of that chart. Because if it's below the chart, the baby's not growing at the rate that it should. If it's above the, chart, the that graph, then the baby is growing faster than it should. Okay. The middle is the range you want. Okay. The crown rump length takes precedence over the LMP. So if they have a first trimester, you follow up with the exam that was done before. You still put in their LMP, because some of them, they say, well, this is when I had my period, but they might have had implantation bleeding, where it's just a very light cycle, and they thought that was a period. Okay, because some of us do have implantation bleeding. So when we ask them, they say, well, uh, I had a period, but it only lasted a day and a half. Well, yeah, because you had implantation bleeding. Because a, a normal period lasts, what, two, three, five, eight days. Okay? Right, there's something I've been meeting. My brain just went blank. Mm -hmm. Do we have time? We've got 10 minutes. I'm going to show you a wheel. read all the stuff in purple. Make sure you read the chapter. Chapter 14. Chapter 14. Um, make sure you can do your measurements. Okay? Because there will be images. And you'll have to label those images. Okay, what do I have to have in my image for a BPD? Fox, CSP, CSP. CSP. lateral ventricle with the cord plexus. What does the cord plexus do? It makes my cerebral spinal fluid. <coughs> 
okay? Makes my cerebral spinal fluid. Early in the first trimester, it looks like the cord plexus is taking up most of the brain. That's because the brain grows, not the cord plexus shrinks. Okay? Any questions before I leave? No? Uh -huh. Do you already have it? No. Mm, no. Uh, I don't like these PowerPoints. They don't include very much. Uh -huh. So in that chapter, it has a lot of dealing with like the different things that you see in each trimester. Are you wanting to know that, like the guidelines? 